Good morning. I'm making a really quick live video because I was out this morning um, just sort of checking on my plants. Uh, and here I am walking back to the house and I noticed that in amongst the rocks there were kind of these green rocks that aren't rocks at all. Here, I'm pointing to some. Those are caterpillar frass. And this is something where you kind of learn to watch your garden and look at things and notice. You have to notice. Because you might not notice that unless you kind of have an eye for nature. So I'm saying, oh, look at all that green frass. Well, let's zip you up in the air and say, it's a mesquite tree. Who is eating my mesquite tree? Somebody. Because if you look out at the tips there, those says rotate my phone. I'm, I didn't rotate my phone. My phone is like gets grumpy. Okay, it's uh, the tips have been eaten and there's a lot of blank spots and that's fine. I mean this is part of life for a mesquite tree. So what is eating my mesquite? Where is it? Looking around it's something that's got to be really well camouflaged and I found him before I started this video and now I lost him again. He's up here. He's very well camouflaged. It's a member of the silk moth family. And at first glance, he looks kind of like a manduka. And I'm saying he, it might be she, right? Because it's green and it's got little silvery stripes on it, but they're, that's the hint. They are silvery stripes. And, oh, I can't believe this happened. Uh, <laughs> But there's more than seven. And the rustic sphinx moth, which was eating my chylopsis last week, has seven. And this guy, okay guys, I'm not seeing it anymore. Oh no, <laughs> I started this video and now I'm not seeing him. Oh, there he is. I got it, I got it, I got it. Right up here, right in the center of the picture. Wow. He just looks like another leaf. Can you see that? Oh my gosh. No, it's very hard. I'm going to try pulling the branch down so we can get a close up and I hope he won't drop because caterpillars sometimes do that. They drop to the ground. Here we go. We're getting closer. Can you see him now? Can you see that that's a caterpillar? Isn't that just the coolest? He looks like a leaf because of the silvery bits on his, his, the sides of his body kind of reflect the light. And he is so well hidden. And they are truly silvery looking. Now I'm gonna change hands with this camera. Sorry guys, try to get a better picture. Oh, <laughs> it says you can't rotate your phone while you're recording, okay. Yes, we know. Come on, phone. There we go. Can we, now we can see him really well. And see those little horns on his body, on the ends of his body. Just a really cool caterpillar out here. And I would have never seen him. I would have never looked for him if I hadn't noticed his caterpillary frass on the ground. So there you have it. Something in the silk moth family on my mesquite tree on a kind of nice autumn morning in the desert. Thanks for watching Gardening with Soul.